Hey friends, here is a hot tip on debugging your CSS. I actually love writing CSS, but one of the things that annoys me the most is debugging CSS. So how can we improve it? Despite all this modern tooling, there's always this inspection fatigue, right? So if I go here even, and then I can go to div, and we can even inspect the navigation, we can get flex grid, and we can start to see some problems right here. And we don't even see a problem here. So we're always in this cycle where we inspect the element and then we are, oh, okay, what is going on here? This image has some extra padding or whatever. And if you don't know all the intricacies of CSS, because this happens, for example, when an image by default has an inline style, so you have this extra padding or whatever on the bottom, but this thing misses you and you don't even notice them. So what can we do? So here is the simplest thing you can do and which is enabling outline for everything on your site. So I can go to app CSS and now I can select everything on the page and we don't want to use border so it doesn't cause any layout shifts. So we can just say outline, we can say one pixel solid tomato. And now you're going to enter the matrix. And this is something I absolutely love. I have this all the time because I can see what's going on here. For example, now when I examine the site, I can see, oh, what is going on here? Now I can probably inspect it. Some silly person put the margin here, right? Okay, so this is going to be fixed. So let's fix this. If I go to navigation, let me just find this. So here's logo and let's just remove it here. So that's reflected. Let's also look at another issue. So this is something I emulated, but this is something you're going to run into. So there's some weird padding. So remember to set your images as block. So I can go to posts, let me just see. And now for the image where I put it, I can just remove, where is it, padding bottom. And that fixed it. So this is really going to help you in debugging your site. And for example, I prefer to put something more subtle so you can do whatever. This might be cumbersome though, so you always have to remember to turn this on, turn this off, and then you might commit this on accident. So let's create a JavaScript bookmarklet. And basically a bookmarklet is just a bookmark that lets you execute some JavaScript on the page. And here inside the post, we can go here and we're just going to add a bookmark and then we're going to add some JavaScript in the URL. And this works in this way. So we're going to create an immediately invoked function expression. So we're just going to select the document head then we're going to create a style tag and inside of there, we're going to place some CSS. So we're going to set the attribute debug CSS and then we're going to do the same thing, outline one pixel solid, etc. And then to remove it, we're going to select it and then if the debug element is present, when we click the bookmark again, we're going to remove the element. And that's how that's going to work. Let's just copy it over and we can go here. And if you don't have bookmarks, control shift B, I think in most browsers, we can say debug CSS. Now let me just say more so we can paste our code here. We can say save. And now let me just comment this out in our code. So this should work now which is really awesome. And you can do this on any site. You can even go meta here. Yeah, so that's really awesome. Another way to take your debugging to the next level is using the VisBug extension. So you can get VisBug from the extension store or whatever, and you can just turn it on. And this is basically almost going to turn your site into Figma. Well, almost. So you can get the measurements. For example, you can be like, oh, let me see if this is 16 pixels. Uh -huh, okay, if this is 16 pixels, I can hold shift and see the measurements between the items, which is really awesome. And you can also check for accessibility if you go here. So you can actually, this is not accessibility. This is just the inspect element. So you can see the font, color, and etc. And here is accessibility, which is really awesome. Let me just press escape. So let me just go here. I'm going to accessibility. So you can see the foreground, the background. You can see the conscious ratio. So you really don't have to have that mental overload of always digging deep through your developer tools. And you can also rearrange items. So for example, if you're trying out something, maybe you want to move the date to the top, you can just do that and you can try out maybe that works better, etc. Instead of going inside your editor and just changing every little thing, even though live refresh is fast, but yeah, this is really awesome. So you don't have to leave your browser. And of course, it isn't going to apply the changes for you, but it's really awesome in my opinion. And you can also do things like edit content on the page. So you can <laughs> remove this and say banana, of course. 
But yeah, I really hope that this tip you find useful and it really opens your eye to debugging CSS in the browser. And it's really not that bad even if you dislike CSS. This is going to help you a lot with not just debugging CSS but learning it. The way you learn CSS is by learning the fundamentals of course. But then when you run into a CSS problem, what most people do, they look up a solution, they copy paste it and that's it. But if you really want to learn CSS, uh, get stuck for some time on something and learn why it doesn't work right and when you learn it once why it doesn't work and how to fix it you're going to learn it forever right all right so thank you for watching and catch you in the next one